yesterday for thousands of hopeful Leaving Cert students who received the first round of offers from the CAO. Great if you got what you wanted, but what if you didn't get the offer that you hoped for? Joining me now is education columnist with the Irish Times, Brian Mooney, and assistant principal of the Cavan Institute, Catherine Fox. You're both very welcome this morning, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, Catherine, I was just saying to you there on the break that my heart breaks for anyone who worked hard, who got the points, and now, due to demand, doesn't get the course they thought they were going to get. And you said to me, that's a mindset. There are always options. It is a mindset, yeah. Sinead. There are plenty of options out there. Within the Further Education, the post leaving Cert section, the PLC uh, sector, there are opportunities for students. There's arts courses, there's courses in security and childcare, there's courses in science and also in culture and heritage But if studies. you have worked long and hard for a couple of years, all with this mission in mind to get this one course and it's denied to you down to access, as opposed to you not getting the points, it's hard to you know, then go, okay, I'll let that go now and I'll focus on something else. If you focus on the courses in the further education sector, you can replace your leaving cert points. So let's say you wanted a science degree. Only yesterday I was talking to one of our students at Cavan Institute who last year didn't get the points for ag science. He came into us in the past year, he did our science course. He got sufficient points through his further education course and got a place in ag science in UCD as a result. So it was only one year delay for Martin, and in Martin Farley is his name, and what he did during the year with us was he focused exclusively on science subjects. We also, through our European programme, managed to send him to Estonia on a fully paid work placement opportunity. So if people aren't, haven't used this mindset, where can they go for information, Catherine? They will find all the information about uh, PLC courses from their local education and training board, which was formerly the BECs, yeah. or through Polyfax, but also on the CEO website, there's a section for FETAC applicants. If they go into that section, they will see what courses they need to be able to go on to the degree of their choice. There's a, a huge amount of choices out there. For example, if you do a security studies course with us in Cavan Institute, you can use that course to do a criminal justice degree in Waterford. Wow. If you do, that's amazing. It is. Yeah. If you do a childcare course with us in Cavan Institute, you can use that to go on to do an early childhood education degree. There is thousands of stories there of students who have used that route. There's 30,000 students every year who go into the FETAC, the Further Education route. There's 15,000 of them apply to the CEO every year for places uh, in colleges and in universities. The universities and the institutes of technology have places reserved for FETAC applicants. One of the main areas that students will go for is nursing. They will do the pre-nursing course in their local PLC college whether it's in Cavan or in Dublin or Cork or Galway, yeah. and they will use the points from that course instead of their Leaving Cert course points to go on and do a nursing degree in Ireland or in the UK, because a lot of the UK colleges will take the FETAC results instead of your Leaving Cert results. That's great advice for people out there. So there are always options, Brian. That's the message we're giving this morning. But for those, actually, let's start with those who did get what they wanted. What do they need to do? Well, first of all, they need to register and the, the colleges that you will accept the place will be on to you immediately. A uh, particular word of warning for those who may have got an arts degree in terms of picking